and you're looking live now along Independence Boulevard and another scorcher out there. I know we are in the 90s today and you can certainly feel it if you've been outside. Oh yeah, and you can see that camera shaking there, mm -hmm. but as we bring in Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane, uh, with the temperatures being what they are, it's not a cool breeze, it's just like blowing hot air around. I know, maybe, yeah, just stirring things around a little bit at least, uh, I mean, maybe trying little, to cool maybe. up. <laughs> yeah, so, so the wind, not such a bad thing out there today, but we've had that poor air quality today too, and you can see that kind of that haziness, but at least with the wind, we do have a little more of that mixing going on to help with the uh, air quality and that that high concentration of ground level ozone. That's what we often talk about in, on these hot, stagnant days. But uh, it's a hot one out there today looking live there from our tower camera, 93 degrees. The record high happens to be 95. So we'll get the official word in here shortly within the next, oh, half an hour or so on what that exact high temperature was and if we tied it or set a new record. Either way, it's hot stuff. Dew points have come up a little bit. Uh, up around 60, so we're feeling just some of that humidity, relative humidity at 33%. And there's that sustained wind out of the south southwest, that hot and humid direction at about 15 miles an hour with those higher gusts around 20, 25 or so. It's a hot 97 in Chesterfield County. Look at that 95 in Wadesboro, 94 in Albemarle. We've got the lower 90s from Statesville heading into Alexander County around Taylorsville, 90 in Shelby and warm low and mid 80s up in the high country where it continues to be nice and dry. So unlike yesterday, we we were tracking a couple of spotty showers and storms, mainly to the north and west, and we had that severe storm out toward Rowan County late yesterday evening. Not concerned about that here today, even though we like to get some of that cooling rain because it has been pretty dry out there. But eventually we will be tracking a cold front on the approach over the next couple of days, and that's going to help uh, give us a return of the shower and storm chances for those weekend outside plans. So just keep that in mind if you have them next couple of days, next few days, really. But partly cloudy overnight. No rain expected while we're sleeping tonight as the temperature falls to about 70 by tomorrow morning and check out the weekend. So the record high tomorrow is 97. I do believe that will be safe for another year, but it's still going to be generally on the hot and humid side, upper 80s to lower 90s as the rain and storm chances return. Let's check it out on future cast and give you a look at what radar could look like at certain times of day. So of course this afternoon and heading this evening, we're nice and dry, but we will start to get a return of more of that moisture and that means more clouds. That's why we're looking partly cloudy overnight. A dry start to the day tomorrow, but then out and about through the afternoon, we'll likely see those showers and storms breaking out in the higher elevations, the high country just past lunchtime or so, and then moving across parts of our area. It's still going to be mainly in just kind of hit or miss fashion where a lot of you will stay dry, but some of you could get that heavy rain and most of the storms tomorrow may be concentrated more north and west of Charlotte. So around the Statesville area heading up 77 along the I 40 corridor and then Sunday morning again mostly dry but then just watch out for the pop up showers and storms as we get into the afternoon and there is a risk albeit low risk but still a risk it's not zero of severe thunderstorms for tomorrow you can see we're at the lower end of the scale and the darker shading of green so if any of those storms wherever they do develop damaging wind gusts will be the main threat and so talking about the rain and the hit or miss variety here of the showers and storms a lot of zeros here so that's what I'm talking about where a lot of you will stay dry but some of you could get a quick inch inch and a half or so of rain Rain, maybe even more, especially by the end of the weekend with a lot of those storms breaking out in the mountains. And this is just the start of an unsettled stretch. We're not only talking about a cold front moving in, but eventually that front lifting back north as a warm front going into next week. So we're talking about these off and on rain chances going into at least early next week and likely beyond then as well, as you'll see with that seven day forecast. So staying unsettled, look at that right through next week, those high rain and storm chances. But notice the heat is backing off. So starting Monday, highs only around 80 and even cooler 70s on Tuesday.